guys, happy Monday. I am just on the way to my friend Lauren's radio show. It's her last one and her first one on her own because her co-host has just started a new job. Uh, so I'm going down to the studio. I'm so awake. Uh, we just had a lot of fun. We were on Ellie and Lauren's show and we've been sitting in the media centre. Uh, Sarah's basically been doing a load of branding for me. So head to my uh, channel page because it looks great. Um, I'm going home to get some lunch. Um, we've been just looking at dresses for the Livewire Awards because at 2am I decided to have a try on and didn't like anything in my wardrobe. Uh, and Jenny doesn't want to get a matching dress to me. No. When, like, <laughs> no. <laughs> One day. Hey guys, me and Stitch here to have a bit of a rant, which I don't like doing too, but I need to vent. Um, so I told you last night, um, for those of you who watched last week's vlog, that Mike and I were looking into booking holidays and we had found the perfect one. Uh, I was waiting to be paid today and Mike just needed to check his work schedule to make sure we could book it. I was literally about to book it and um, the price has gone up by 340 quid. I was just like, seriously? Like, that's not even a little bit, like, you know. 50 quid maybe could have handled it but like 340 quid and like between my illness and uni and mike's work schedule on our budget like it's just really crap that companies can literally just change the prices like that and it's equally not the first time this has happened to me today i was on asos looking for a dress for the live wire awards because i was up at 1am trying on all my dresses and decided i didn't like any of them and one dress was £19. Two minutes later, it's gone to 30 quid. What? I don't understand how the price of things can just change like that. And in the middle of the day as well. Like, that's what's so ridiculous. <sighs> I was having such a good day and it's put me in a really, really bad mood. Um, I'm just going to chill here. I've got... Um, a little musical jam session for third year prod coming up in a bit so hopefully that'll be fun and put me in a good mood and i won't embarrass myself too much but you never know do you i know there's a lot of things and people that are much worse off than i am and i'm very lucky that i am able to go on some sort of holidays i mean cruises in a certain time period <laughs> that go from somewhere that is near me but I'm lucky to just be able to do that but it's just put me in a really bad mood because if we'd have been able to book it yesterday we would have been going and now we're not maybe sometimes fun little jam session just making a load of noise and playing some songs uh, I'm heading home I'm really tired now I will see you tomorrow maybe <laughs> morning guys um as you'll see I'm wearing my clothes because I fell asleep at half seven in my clothes last night <laughs> uh, I woke up briefly at about a half nine ten and have literally been asleep ever since so I slept for 12 and a half hours um, I was obviously extremely tired, uh, and my body needed it, so I'm just chilling, and I will get up and start doing some bits and bobs, um, and then I've got Jersey Boys tonight, which will be good, but yeah, I slept a lot. So, I've ended up having a fairly productive morning. Um, I finished the play I needed to finish and have found a monologue and started learning it. Um, it's getting me, man. Uh, I picked something to kind of challenge myself a little bit because it's a, um, it's a piece for my mother and I'm not a mother. Um, but it's, it's really strange how much it's actually getting me, like, genuinely been crying. Um... So I think it's a good piece. I hope it's good. I hope I can learn it by tomorrow morning. That's going to be more of the struggle. 
Um, and I hope it kind of relates to what I want it to relate to in the plays that we're doing. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm feeling good, I think. Uh, I'm going to make some lunch now. Then I've set myself some time to plan the most epic radio show of the season so far. It's going to be great. It's my last one. Um, and then I'm going to try and have a little bit of a chill while I learn my monologue because tomorrow is an insane day. So I have showered and changed and um, I'm just feeling absolutely exhausted. I have done quite a lot of work and stuff today. Um, it's been productive, but I'm just feeling so rubbish. I'm going out with Sarah tonight uh, to see Jersey Boys at the Theatre Royal, which I know will be really good when I get there, but I'm just not feeling like it at all. Um, and I know there's so much more that I really need to get done before tomorrow. So, I don't know, but yeah, I'm just feeling a bit bleh. At the minute, I'm just going through these horrible, weird cycles um, of complete insomnia to needing to sleep every second of the day, back to insomnia, back to needing to sleep every second of the day. And although the insomnia is exhausting, the needing to sleep every second of the day is so much harder. Because <laughs> I genuinely feel, despite having 12 and a half hours sleep last night, that I could go curl up and do it all again. Like, I've got such a crazy day tomorrow and I don't want to feel like this. Because I want it to be a good day. Oh guys, uh, so I had a great evening at Jersey Boys. Was free, was like, oh what a night, chilling out. And then uh, I was chatting to Sarah on the bus home about my monologue for tomorrow. Turns out it's from a very, very, very popular and very, very famous film. Uh, and the character I'm doing is played by Sally Field. Sally Field. How am I meant to compete with that? Ugh. I don't know what to do. I was stressed and panicking already because I don't even know it properly yet. And my audition's at 10 and I'm really, really stressed. <sighs> Morning, guys. Um, I'm still just as stressed as I was yesterday, I think. Um, I don't really know any of the pieces. Um, I feel really sick and dizzy. I don't know whether that's nerves or pots or hunger or insomnia or what it is. Um, I've got a stupidly busy day. I don't know how I get myself into these situations. So I've got my audition, then my final radio show of the year, then work, then I'm seeing a show tonight. Um, I think I've got everything ready. I hope I've got everything ready. If I have to pop home between my radio show and work, then I will. Um, I'm just so stressed for this audition. Like, I don't, I don't do auditions very well. Like, I get stupidly nervous. And especially when it's, you know, for something pretty big in terms of my degree. Um, I just wish I'd have more time to kind of go through it like it just takes me so long to read plays like it doesn't like to be fair I think I've got a lot of response to them I'm just not doing this monologue very well but I think that's just because I'm exhausted but then I guess I'll be just as exhausted after 12 weeks abroad so but at least I'll know what I'm doing wish me luck I'll let you know how it goes and realised I couldn't sleep, didn't I? So, uh, that went surprisingly well, I think. Uh, but they were running a bit late, so I'm now running a bit late. And I uh, have 25 minutes... Ooh. Sorry, uh, literally nearly ran into some school children. Anyway, I am in the creepy lift, on my way to my last radio show of the year. It's going to be a lot of fun. I think I'm prepared. I have been up since 8 this morning. Um, I've been more prepped for my radio than I have for the audition, and the audition went fine. So let's have fun, let's relax for the next hour and a half and then off to work. But I can do it, I can do it. I'm, I'm feeling a lot better about myself now that's over. 
been Jenny Pettican. You've been listening to Livewire 1350. I'll see you next year. Step one and two of four, out of the way and a lot of fun. I am now on my way to work. I'm at work till five and then I'm seeing Kerry Ellis in the evening. It's a busy one, but it's actually been a great day so far and it's gonna be a good one. I also just did a quick casual bit of voiceover for Wake Up With Will because, you know, that's what people want when you're the voice of the SRA Awards. <laughs> I finished work and we've just had a nice dinner at Pizza Express. I needed pizza in my life and we are now having... I'm not happy. <laughs> I've had to use Sarah's phone mid-vlog because mine's run out of storage because my hard drive's broken. It's just stressing me out. Anyway, we are on our way to the Playhouse to go and see Kerry Ellis. Uh, we are very, very excited. Uh, I haven't seen her for a few years, so it's going to be a good show. I will see you a bit later. It's still light at 20 to 10. I can't quite understand it. Uh, we have just come out of watching the beautiful, the effortless, the I forgot how much I love her voice, Kerry Ellis. Uh, it was a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant show. Uh, I'm very, very tired, but we've had a good day, haven't we? Yeah, my throat hurts watching her sing. There was a lots of bits we had to join in. I was not prepared. <laughs> I would have looked up to the lyrics to, to for good better. But no, we had a great night. Yeah, I was broke. <laughs> it has been 12 and a half hours since I left the house for my audition this morning. It is safe to say I am exhausted. Um, I am going to have a very, very good sleep. And I will see you tomorrow. Good night. Good morning, guys. Um, it feels really nice to wake up and not have any impeding deadlines. <laughs> uh, I can just wake up and chill out until I go to work this afternoon. Uh, so that's nice. I do have some dresses to pick up um, for the live wire awards on Friday. I could not decide what I wanted to wear, so I've ordered a couple. Uh, I'm not going to keep them all. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm going to get dressed and go and get them and try them on. Hey guys, so I've just tried on the dresses that I ordered and I just don't really like any of them. Uh, one of them turned up damaged, which just didn't help. So I'm heading into town to see if I can panic buy a, a dress for tomorrow. Which is not ideal, but oh well. Um, I've got work in a couple of hours anyway, so it makes sense. I'll see you in a bit. So I've just finished work. Um, I didn't find a dress. I was round for ages, so I'm going to pop to some more shops very quickly before I head home. Uh, I'm very tired, and I really want to find a nice dress for tomorrow. So I found a bought another dress, and then I've had a nightmare of a journey back because, of course, it was half past five. The bus was late. Uh, anyway, I'm going to join Sarah and Lauren for the final spotlight on Livewire for the year. Um, I'm in a lot of pain, but I think this will cheer me up. Um, yeah. First floor. Hi guys, this is a quick warning. If you don't like blood, turn away now. The eternal nightmare of having POTS and EDS and shaving your legs. Um, Blood pooling plus fragile skin equals a mess. Because that was just what I wanted from shaving my legs. <laughs> you can return to viewing if you are uh, not a fan of blood. Um, I'm so exhausted. I'm going to dry my hair and I'm going to get to sleep. I'll see you in the morning. Hey guys, sorry I haven't spoken to you today. I've just had a slow morning getting ready. I'm not feeling great, unfortunately. I'm just about to go and have my makeup done. Hopefully I'll feel a bit better. I'll see you later. Hey guys, so I just have my makeup done. I'm absolutely loving it. Um, so that's made me feel a lot better. And uh, she was a lovely girl, great to chat to. Um, now I'm hanging about for a bit and then I'm gonna get changed. And, um, I'm not feeling so well. I've had an awful headache all day. I thought I might just be a bit hydro dehydrated, but seven bottles of water later, and it hasn't helped. I'm just feeling kind of shaky and dizzy and not at all. I just want to do this. But we'll get changed and go. Hey guys, so I've 
Hey guys, uh, I'm not sure I actually told you what I was doing today. Uh, so I'm at the Livewire Awards tonight. I am up for six awards. How crazy. Uh, I hope I win one. It'll be slightly embarrassing if I don't. Um, but it should be a really lovely night. I'm not feeling great. I'm feeling a bit better now I'm dressed. Um, just trying to shake this potsiness off and the headache off. So I feel a little bit less dizzy and like I'm swaying. Uh, but it's going to be an exciting night. I'll see you a bit later on and let you know how I get on. And that's the live bar awards, I think. Yeah, we did! We are very tired. We are very hungry. We won some awards. We're going to McDonald's. <laughs> hey guys. Um, unfortunately, I've been feeling really unwell all evening. Um, I'm in a lot of pain. I'm feeling very sick and very dizzy. I'm also very bloated for no apparent reason. Um, which is a real, real shame because I really, really, really wanted to have a nice evening. Um, it's only half nine, I think, but it feels so much later. <sighs> I just, I just really wanted to have a nice night and look nice and feel nice. And feel kind of normal for a change and have fun with my friends. Um, so I'm a bit gutted, but hopefully we've got our like final countdown on Sunday, which is like where we'll have a barbecue and do our last 10, 15 minutes of radio. So I think that'll be really nice and chilled and hopefully I'll feel a bit better for it and I won't have to put in quite so much effort. Um, but I won a thing. <laughs> um, I'm really pleased. I got best entertainment show, um, which is like the hardest category. It was the only category with eight nominations uh, because they just couldn't choose. So I'm really, really pleased. And um, apparently I'm entertaining, I, apparently. Um, but no, I'm, I'm really glad. And uh, I don't quite remember what I said in my speech. Um, I think it was basically that being away from Livewire when I was away from it really, really sucked. And being able to come back and being welcomed back into this wonderful family so well has been amazing. So, I'm sorry if I didn't seem very grateful earlier, anyone from Live While Watching. It's because I'm feeling rubbish. Um, and normally I don't stand in front of people and be myself. I sit in a room and talk to myself like I'm doing right now. Um, anyway, I am um, going to take some painkillers, have some water, have some toast and get to sleep. Good night. Hey guys, sorry I haven't spoken to you today. Uh, I've not been feeling brilliant and I've just been chilling out. I've still got a really awful headache and uh, my tummy's playing up. But I've made myself some dinner um, and I'm going out in a bit to see my friend Rowan's play called About Leicester. It's meant to be really good, so I'm looking forward to it. So, I've made it outside, um, my knees are really giving me more jip than I expected, but uh, these are the things you don't know when you don't really leave the house. Um, ow. Uh, I am going to Usher for my friend Rowan's play, it's called About Leicester, it's meant to be really good, so I'm looking forward to it. I think I've told you guys that already, but uh, I'm telling you again. Afternoon guys, I am just heading down to Livewire for what we call our final countdown where we each have our last 15 minutes on radio for the year and um, then just hang out and have a nice barbecue. It's going to be a really nice day, I'm sure it's going to be an emotional day as lots of people are leaving, um, but it's going to be really nice. So I will see you there. Cake by the Ocean there from DNCE. 
this is my last link of the year. Um, it has meant so incredibly much to me to be back on Livewire this year. Uh, I missed it so much when I was away. I have made some incredible friends this year and uh, I'm very sad that some of them are going to be leaving um, but cannot wait to find out what there is to come in my last year on Livewire next year. I will be back in October with all your favourites. Liam the Learner Donkey will be back from his little vacation. Uh, I'll be back with Clash of the Counties and uh, we'll just have some fun. And this is your favourite midweek mood booster of the year. I hope everyone in the media centre gets dancing to this next one. It is Walk the Moon with Shut Up and Dance. I've been Jenny Pettican. See you next year. On Live Wire thirteen fifty. My name is Josh, and I am joined in the room by some people. Say hello, people. Hello, people. Hi. <sighs> I'm going to leave you with a song, it's a lovely song called Golden Days, it's by a lovely band called Whitney. Um, thank you, my wife, it's been amazing. <laughs> That's it. I think, I think we're done. So, for one last time, this is one last time. I've been Alex, you've been Livewire. Thank you. Goodbye. We are heading down for a barbecue to celebrate the fact that Livewire is over for the year. Uh, sad. But uh, <laughs> this is going to be fun. Beautiful. <laughs> 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 no. Oh, You have to send me all those. Oh my God, yeah. <laughs> Food live wire event for Jenny Patterkin. Erin Bashford is the best. Shark horror. Got rolls and everything. <laughs> They must be like a bar. They know. They know. They know. They Hey guys, I have had a wonderful day uh, with my lovely Livewire family. I'm so. It was so hard saying goodbye to some of them. It's going to be very, very weird when they're not back in uh, September, October time. Um, and even the ones that are going to be, I'm going to miss. Um, it's going to be really mad not doing radio for so long. Because um, I have loved, loved, loved having it back in my life. And uh, yeah, it's been amazing. Anyway, um, I'm going to get some sleep because I am absolutely exhausted. And I will be uploading this tomorrow. Sorry, it's a day late. Um, thank you so much for watching and coming along on this week with me. If you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please hit subscribe. I will see you next week, guys.